happy Thursday. It's a mommy update slash Ashland update. He is six months old this week and he's like a new baby. It's crazy. He has developed so much in the last month. It's unbelievable. It's almost like there's a new milestone every week. Some really fun little things. His teeth started to come in, so he has two little teeth buds that have broken through, which is not so fun when I'm nursing, but I'm hoping that I can keep nursing. And he's just getting used to it, so we're kind of working on it together, figuring out, you know, how that works. Also, he makes really funny buzzing noises with his mouth. Well, it first started when he was irritated, and now he kind of just does it anytime when he's bored or, I don't know. I don't know if he's bored or not, but he just goes and it's really cute. Also, he is sitting up completely. That's huge. That's a big new change for us. So he completely sits on his own. I mean, we do surround him with pillows because sometimes he will just tip to the left and face plant. If he's falling back now, he will kind of strengthen and tighten his muscles in his tummy and you can tell that he's holding himself up. So he's learning so many cool things. Also, he picks up toys with both hands, which is kind of a big deal. And he's even started to try to pick up toys with his feet. It's so funny. He has daddy's feet because Peter can do a lot of things with his feet and uh, including pinching really hard. It's really not very fun. But Ashland is trying to pick up toys with his feet and it's so cute. What else is he doing? He is talking a lot, just babbling, you know, making a lot of noise. He's kind of becoming a screamer. So that we discovered last night when we went out to dinner. And this is a restaurant we've actually taken him many times and he's usually pretty chill. <laughs> and we had to actually take him out. Peter took him out in the stroller to try to get him to go to sleep because we were at the restaurant about 7.30 and his bedtime is usually around 8, so he was getting a little owly and very loud, very vocal in the restaurant, so we were kind of embarrassed, but that's how it goes with kiddos. Peter and I are just in awe of this little being, and really every day we're just so thankful that he's in our lives. It's amazing. You really, you can't imagine your life before. I mean, we have really great memories together, but we were actually talking about it yesterday. It's not that you don't want to remember your life before him, but you just can't imagine your life without him. It's been an amazing six months. He's so cheerful and so happy and, you know, he has plenty of days when he isn't in the best mood, but he's a pretty cheerful baby and so we just feel like every day is such a joy with him. He had a six month doctor appointment, so he got some shots and that's always a rough day and even the day after, so I was a little nervous about it today, but he's doing fine. He actually took a really long nap. I think sometimes when he's not feeling too great, he kind of sleeps it off. Something kind of funny, the day I posted my Baby Slept 12 Hours vlog, from that night on, he has not slept through the night. <laughs> so I think, I think I cursed that a little bit. And uh, he did for about a month, and it was amazing. And now we're in a different stage, and he's waking up usually once a night, pretty consistently, sometimes twice. We are busy people and we do a lot of different things and expose him to a lot of things. My parents take him twice a week. Now, at the times that I teach voice lessons, they're watching him and that coincides with my niece's volleyball game. So they took him to his first volleyball game last week and it was funny because he fell asleep and woke up from his nap at the volleyball game. And that's so typical of what happens to Ashland. We always joke that literally it's like he falls asleep at home and then we take him somewhere or we're out and about and he falls asleep and he just wakes up in new places all the time. So it's like he's constantly opening his eyes like, where am I now? We took him to a concert the other night. It was like a really intimate little folk concert. So it was really beautiful music and it was fun to expose him to that. But he woke up there and was thinking, where am I now? So he's pretty much a go with the flow baby at this point, although his personality is coming through and we saw that last night at the restaurant where we thought, uh oh, maybe we can't always take him everywhere and he'll be super easy, but finding time for each other is something that we're trying to balance right now. We have so much help just during the week so I can get some work done and get vlogs and music videos out and Peter and I see each other at home but it's not the same as having a date night so we are having a few dates this week. We're going to a football game just because a good friend gave us tickets which was so lovely and then we're going to a play on Friday night. So both nights my parents are gonna watch him but they absolutely love it so they're not complaining and it'll be nice because for the most part he'll go to bed and then we'll be out while he's asleep so we don't miss much either. It's really good for you to find time with your partner in all this because 
you know, we have to keep that relationship strong. And I recently heard this from a friend who is a new parent as well. And they were talking to friends of theirs who are a little more experienced parents. And something the husband said that really stuck with me was that he said he always will put his wife first. And he said, you know, it's really important that my children grow up and see what a healthy relationship is like. And so I will always put my wife first, or just really value that relationship. And I think that's so important and it's really what we're trying to model. I know he's still really young, but I feel like he's really aware of it. So it's easy to get really caught up in the new baby and just putting all your energy into him, but also keep a little bit for each other. So you can keep that relationship strong. This has truly been the best six months of our lives. I had to pause for a minute because Dad had a clothing emergency. <laughs> he couldn't figure out how to get one of Ashlyn's shirts on. But speaking of that, Peter is super dad. I've been calling him that lately. It's amazing to just see your partner jump into a role like this and be so natural. He's such a natural dad. It's just so cool, so wonderful to see that relationship grow. Okay, so I brought Peter in here because he was watching the babe and I thought, just grab you for a minute. So what is your favorite thing about Ash? I think my favorite thing about him so far is just the fact that he's just becoming a real person now. He has personality coming out and I have a really good feeling he's going to be extremely independent and as soon as he can get moving he's going to be running all over the house. <laughs> I know. So that's going to be fun. Yeah, we're talking about childproofing and we're like, I don't really know where to start. Yeah, it's going to be everywhere. I didn't realize how much glass I had in the house until Brendan came over and Megan and Josh's little baby boy is like pulling things off the table. We're like, well, that's gonna need oh, to move. So we need to move that. It's kind of nice to have friends who have infants because they help you childproof. Yeah. And so then what is your favorite thing about Ash? <laughs> oh, so many things. Honestly, there's there's a lot of things. Okay, but my I think my favorite thing is when he smiles. Oh, because if best. you get him to smile, Especially when he goes from his, he's very expressive. If you all haven't seen pictures, you probably have. And if you saw a little bit in the video before this. He's so expressive, so when you get him to smile, it's like if he has a serious face, his whole face lights up, like his forehead moves and his eyebrows. It's so, it's so amazing. And with his little gums up here, it's like that gum smile. You, oh, I'm just, oh, it's the cutest thing in the world. It's my favorite. It just like warms your heart. So a lot of people have been asking how Rainy deals with Ashlyn. Actually, That's they changed. were. I just took her down there, and they were sitting next to each other, and she was get, giving him kisses, and it was so lovely. She's very loving. So I rewarded her and gave her a little bit of chicken. <laughs> you're like kisses, chicken, be nice to the baby. That's so nice. Yeah, hurry. When she tries to kiss his hands, he's like constantly trying to touch her, and she's like kind of weirded out by it. But when Rainy gives him kisses, he like makes this really weird, gross out face. Yeah, we should let him do that. Let with his mouth anyway. open. It's really funny though. So I was telling everyone that this has totally been the best six months of my life. And, you know, I said the same for you. We were just talking about that. Would you? Yeah, definitely the most rewarding and the most challenging. Everything is awesome! awesome. Having children is amazing and awesomely difficult at the same time. Do you think it's that hard? <laughs> I think we've been lucky, but... If you are expecting or just wondering how you're going to do life with children, you just do it. It just comes out of you. Wouldn't you say that? I mean, like, you can't prepare. Everybody says you can't prepare, you can't prepare, which is true. But, you know, I feel like if you feel ready in your life, that's a positive thing. Those first few months when you're not sleeping much and it's really, really hard, take a step back and just realize this few months or even, even a month, however long it lasts, it's such a small moment in your life, and it's such an important time in his life. Just cherish the moments as much as you can. There were nights when I was just holding this crying child, thinking, this is horrible, and I'm so tired, and I'm... And then I literally just had to check myself and go, okay, what's the worst that's gonna happen? Hi. Yeah. Tell us all about it. He's teething. <laughs> And I just had to say, you know, this is one night in my life that I'm a little bit tired. You know, it it feels awful in the moment, but then if you can kind of like check in and then look down at this helpless little being, like all he needs is love and attention. And all you need is love. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da. Right, son? <laughs> he literally was like, like yeah. I don't know, guys. I agree. There were some long nights, but totally worth it totally worth it and like wouldn't describe it as hell. I mean you hear that a lot and it may be, I think maybe we got lucky. 
Yeah, it's hard, but just perspective, I think. You can do it. <laughs> so there you have it. Just wanted to share a little more about our little man and his growth and what it's been like. And we're so fortunate to have this little guy in our lives. And I'm sure all of you who are parents can relate to that. And those of you who are looking forward to becoming parents someday, it's the greatest thing ever. I highly recommend it. <laughs> So thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to share with you a music video next week. I was this close to having a music video ready but I'm waiting one more week and I have some news about it. I am collaborating with someone other than Peter. I know I promised a video with Peter and that actually is next. So the exciting news is there will be two music videos, that's four, two music videos in October. Two. October. To video Tober. I don't know. I can't think of anything cool. To no. I hope you're excited because two music videos is so exciting for me. I'm planning on releasing a video a month. I'm trying to get on that schedule. No huge promises, but so far it's looking good because I've got two videos ready to release this month and already working on the video for November. It's so exciting to have all these music videos coming out. My video next week is with Joshua D. So I'm really excited about that. Please come back next Thursday to see our release. I'm really excited to share that with you. I will leave the title of the song a surprise, although one hint is that it is a song that Peter has covered with someone else. Thank you again for watching and liking and supporting and patrons you're making it possible for me to make these videos and to make them more often and I'm so so grateful for that so thank you so much. So I hope you all enjoy the video next week and then I will see you back for another vlog in two weeks. Happy Thursday! Bye! It's like Paradox Noir. You're too short. <laughs> okay, can you put them down like hold them or something? <laughs>